Hi guys, Jared here with Day Traders FX. I hope you guys are having a great Wednesday. Uh, I would like to talk about the Aussie dollar today in our free daily video update. So just a couple of things. Remember, if you'd like to get a free trial to our trading group, you can do so at daytradersfx.com. Click on About. You can see that right there, uh, about, and that will take you to a couple of options for a free week trial. Okay, let's look at the calendar today. We've had some uh, New Zealand news earlier, and uh, interest rates remained unchanged and so on. We're not expecting too many interest rate changes anywhere for a while. Um, and so we saw a little movement there. Today, though, the big deal that we have coming up are the employment numbers from Australia. We have employment change, employment rate. That's coming out at 4.30 p.m. Pacific, Los Angeles, America time. Uh, and that is going to be craziness. So that's about three hours from now. And that's why I want to talk about the Aussie dollar because it's going to be a big mover. Either way, um, we're going to have some big activity here. So let's talk about what the options are in this Aussie dollar. Um, as you guys know, I'm a huge, huge fan. I love the missed pivots. And we have a couple here. We have a missed weekly pivot from about two weeks ago on the Aussie dollar. And we also have a missed weekly pivot from about four or five weeks ago on the Aussie dollar. And they're up at like 96.30 and and here at about 92.30. And there's a bunch of daily pivots on the on the lower time frames as well that have been missed. Um, and so there are two very excellent possibilities. Number one, uh, we had big price rejection right here. This was, um, I believe this was non-farm payroll in the US. Uh, and so we had some big craziness and the Aussie shot down but then bounced right back up again. Uh, and so we have a very strong candle that's been holding so far uh, since that happened. We're, we're several uh, days now into that low being rejected and that support holding. And that's right about the 90 level. It's just slightly below, 89.98. Uh, or excuse me, 89.89, uh, 89, so about 89.90. So so basically just the 90 area is holding pretty well and and it seems to be holding very well. And we've got these missed levels and we got all these things happening. But if we look at the daily chart, we see a perfect head and shoulders pattern. Very, very perfect head and shoulders pattern. Uh, and, and that is playing out very nicely so far. So if this 90 level gives way or 89.90, uh, then we're gonna start looking at targeting moves to the 88 40, 50 area. So what our opportunities are going to be is number one, if the news comes out super great, I'm probably going to do something like like buy at 9100, somewhere around there, uh, and see if I can ride this up to 9200, 9250 is kind of what I would be targeting on the upside for the shorter term on the Aussie dollar. If it breaks the low with the news, if the news is really bad and the, and the job numbers look really bad, I would probably just sell the break of that uh, 90 level and, and target uh, somewhere down there in the 8950, even 8900, because we know that we have a pretty big level uh, down here at uh, 8850. So we should be able to get you know 50 to 100 pips on either side of movement. If it gets above uh, 9100, we should be able to see that get to about 9200. And if it gets below, excuse me, 90, then we should be able to see it get down to you know probably 8900 fairly easily. Uh, we don't have too much uh, resistance in the way on either side, so I think that's going to be a great little opportunity. Um, either way, the news should get things moving. Australia has kind of been a little bit all over the map. We've seen some some good news and some bad news, and we've seen Aussie strength a bit over the last couple of days. A little bit of recovery, a little bit of movement off those lows by 175 pips. Uh, but then we still have the uh, Central Bank of Australia saying that things are going to get a little crazy as far as uh, if they need to intervene and bring the currency level down uh, or the currency price down, they will. Uh, and so that's definitely weighing on the Aussie dollar. So there's just a lot of things happening here that make us uh, a little cautious, a little careful um, on, on really what direction we go. And that's why I think it's going to be kind of all about getting out of this range. So 9100, above 9100, I think we're going to have some decent bullish movement. Below 90, I think we'll have some good bearish movement. Uh, but it's going to be all about watching that news today. So remember, we have a lot of missed pivots up here, daily and weekly pivots, uh, uh, hundreds of pips above current market price. And so there's reasons for this Aussie dollar to continue higher. But likewise, we do have some big news coming out. And if it just breaks that simple support level, which is also a good psychological level, then we should be able to expect some further downside movement into that bigger support, which once again is around 88 50. So that's what I'm going to be watching for. Remember, the news is out in just uh, less than three hours now. So let's be ready for that. Let's be uh, uh, ready to jump on this and get some pips out of this Aussie dollar movement. Best of luck, everybody. And I will update Twitter with more details as they come.